I think this one will do. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <clears throat> oh, let's see if I can do this better. I go down this little valley. Okay, I'll just turn the camera a little bit. It's like a minute long and all I'm doing. <gasps> ah, yeah, it's a little, a little wonky, but this is probably as good as I'm going to get it. I am out in the woods. I'm using this little shack that my son Dale built when he was a kid. And if you haven't heard about him, I guess I can, I'll put a link to a video down below. Ooh, come here, Piper. I brought, I brought Piper out here with me. Piper was Dale's dog. Now she's my dog. I think, what do you think? You're sure smelling around like you smell something. You smell squirrel? Is there a squirrel? Go find the squirrel. Go find the squirrel. And don't worry. She won't get the squirrel. She just likes to chase after them. Oh, didn't know I still had that on either. Well, I'll tell you. I am well prepared this evening, aren't I? And it is evening. Don't you like this? It's 729 and the sun is still way up in the sky. Yeah, I like this time of year. Anyway, I have come out here to give you an update on my... Where'd you go, Piper? Not Now I'm hearing noises. An update on my experience at the dentist today. Okay, I can't take it. It's not level. So I gotta boost it up here. You guys are gonna love this video, I'll tell you. Ha ha! Ha ha! There we go. So, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, a while ago, I went to the dentist. They hear me talk and they go crazy. Anyway, I went to the dentist because I had a cracked, not a cracked, yeah, cracked, a tooth with a big old chip out of it. My tooth broke the Friday before the world shut down for 15 days to slow the spread. I called the dentist that Friday, and I don't know about where you guys live, but in my area, most of the dentists don't work on Friday. I left a message with the dentist and I didn't get a call back from my dentist. In fact, I never got a call back from that dentist, which was frustrating. As you know, 15 days turned into a month and it turned into months. So I found a different dentist. I contacted a group of my friends from my local area and said, I'm looking for a dentist. Who do you recommend? Well, three of them. Not one, not two, but three different friends recommended the same dentist. And now let me tell you, when three different friends who don't even necessarily know each other recommend the same dentist, yeah, it's a pretty good bet he's a good dentist. And that dentist who didn't return my call ever, I don't even know if he's still in business. He was an old guy. Maybe he decided to retire. I don't know. Never heard a word from him. Sorry, my, my eye looks all saggy here, and I'm like, oh, I look like I'm dying or something. I think it was just an angle that my hair was at, so we're okay. Back to the story. So a big chunk of my tooth chipped off, and the dentist told me, well, I can put a temporary fix on there. I can fill it, but eventually you will need a crown. And I'm like, okay. So he put a filling on there. I don't really, run a, really, really didn't want a crown. So I put it off, the tooth chipped again. So I'm going around with a big hunk of tooth missing in my mouth. Well, I can do it for a couple weeks. I can do it for a month. I can do it for two months. In August, I... Piper! Maybe the girls are home. They went to hike a mountain. Never mind. I don't know what she's barking at. Back to my story. I got in to see the dentist. I think it was, I called in August. And when a dentist is that good, it takes a while to get in there. So I finally get in to see the dentist. He recommended a crown. I said, what about just putting another filling on? It lasted two years. And he said, well, the problem with that is that if the tooth breaks again or in a different location, it might break a bigger section of the tooth and it'll be make it more difficult to put a crown on the tooth. 
I said, okay, they were going to contact my insurance um, company and get a, um, what do you call it, an estimate, whatever, figure out how much it would cost. There she comes. They can hear. Can you hear? What were you barking at over there, little girl? I'm waiting and waiting to hear back from the insurance company. Not a word. Usually my insurance company is pretty fast on getting back. I get a letter in the mail giving what the estimate or what they'll cover. I can't think of what that's called. So I called the dentist and I said, well, you know, I haven't heard anything. What about this pre-authorization? That's it. You need pre-authorization for something as big as a crown. Otherwise, I pay for it all out of pocket. I mean, I'm still going to pay a lot of money because my insurance really doesn't cover very much. But I wanted to make sure they would cover something. She, oh, no, we haven't heard from your insurance company. Yeah, because I think they didn't submit it to the insurance company. So it wasn't very long after that where I got word back that the insurance company, how much I'd have to pay out of pocket and how much the insurance company would cover. That was the end of September. Well, my son died at the beginning of October and my, my world shut down at that point. It just, it shut down. My world shut down at that point. You know, with all that was going on, I just delayed and delayed and delayed. And yes, I realize it's been seven months since then. Boy, do I realize it's been seven months since then. All that long roundabout way to say I finally, finally made it to the dentist with the pre-approval to get the crown work done. And that's where the other video I did about my <laughs> trip to the dentist and all the trouble there were. I thought I was dying and having a heart attack. No, I thought I, it felt like a heart attack. I was impressed with his dentist. One thing I like about him is that he discusses what he's doing. So he's not just working on your teeth and your, you have no idea what's going on. He, and he doesn't even know that I like this, but I like to know what step-by-step -step is happening. And he's very good at communicating those step-by-step -step things. Even when I thought I was having a heart attack, he was very good about explaining exactly what was happening and that I wasn't having a heart attack. So I went in today and I got my new crown. Right now I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> Here's the thing. I went two years with that filling, temporary filling on it. And because it was lower on the one, um, the biting edge of the tooth, you know, where your teeth meet up instead of being like this, it was like that. So there's like this gap there, right? Well then when my, um, when that filling, oh, I'm leveling you out again. If you didn't notice my camera fell, then the corner broke off of that tooth. So then it was really low. Yeah. So I could feel this top part of my tooth there. And then when they um, put the temporary crown on, it was an odd, odd temporary crown. It's big and fat and it felt funny in my mouth. But then that broke off and the whole crown fell off. <laughs> so there was a huge, huge gap then there. So today, for the first time in three years, my teeth are meeting up like this again. And it feels funny in my mouth to have, not have, I mean, it feels normal. But because I've lived with it not being normal for three years, it feels a little funny. I'm sure it won't take long for me to be used to it and forget all about all that, that it's a crown and not my full real tooth anymore. Now I sleep with a bite guard so that if I grind, it doesn't put, and I guess I still grind my teeth, it doesn't put the pressure on the teeth so they don't crack more. And I should have taken my dentist's advice Many years ago, when he first, a different dentist, told me that I was a tooth grinder, which I didn't know, and that I should get a night splint. But back then, and there are probably more now, it was 400 bucks out of pocket. And he said, well, it's cheaper than getting a crown. And he was right, except I didn't have the money to buy a $400 night guard. When that dentist retired, a new guy took over, and he said, you really need a night guard. He said, and I said, well, I can't afford whatever $100 it is. I mean, I had eight children I was raising. Who has that kind of money? Just expendable cash when you've got eight children you're raising. <laughs> Someone had suggested a hockey, you know, like a hockey guard, uh, you know. But that didn't work because 
I need airflow between my teeth. Do you guys have that problem? He told me about this brand of a night guard and it's, I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna look it up because I need to order a new one. It was 40 bucks, 40 bucks. Took me a whole year before I could sleep through the night without spitting that sucker out. But now if I try to sleep without it, my mouth feels all wonky. You know, I'm just so used to it. But I still, I still spit it out. This has been a rambling video to tell you my updated story about my crown. Now I feel like a queen because I've got, I've got two crowns. Anyway, I need to round up my little dog. Piper, where are you? I could hear her. She won't go far. I could hear her wandering around through the woods here. It's a beautiful evening in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Not too, not too cold, just a little chilly. I got a little jacket on here. My hands are getting a little cold out here, but not too bad. And the best thing is we don't have any snow. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have many more adventures to share with you. Hopefully it won't be about a broken <laughs> crown. I think this one will do. I think so, yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ha, it's recording. I was trying to take a picture for my screenshot. Ha. Okay, how's this? I got the sun shining right on my smile. What do you think? Think that'll work? I gotta get it just right. If I tip my hat, I can't get it. I can't forget it. I think I forgot to mention that I did not get numbed up today. No, no. I may never get numbed up again in my life. Definitely not today.